Hey everybody, welcome to CR NT Designers. This is Chetan, and in this tutorial, we are going to create industrial design. You will get its UV unwrapping process on our Instagram page, so don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And now, let's get started. To make the model, we need to add a cube, and then go to the orthographic view and then scale it along the z-axis. Just scale it down like this. After that, you need to apply that scale. So just control A and then apply the scale. Then select this edges. And then you need to press control B to add a bevel on there. And add a bevel like this. Add a 3 segment bevel and give the proper width at there. And then we need to select everything and press M and merge by distance. Double words will get merged. You can see the form of the model. After that, you need to add a cylinder and we will go with the 12 words. This is very important that you need to match the vertex count of cylinder and that cube. So that's why you need to give the right bevel at there. After that, just give the right position and right scale to the cylinder. Then go to the edit mode and select these words and move them along the y axis. Now you need to select both object and you need to use the boolean operation union. And then you can apply that boolean modifier. Then you can delete that cutter object and now we need to create right topology at here. So just select these words, right click, connect vertex path. And then dissolve these edges. After that, select this edge and then control B and add a bevel at there. Create a smooth curve at there, so that's why we need to add a bevel. And we can go with the 4 or 3 segments. Give the right bevel width. You need to select these words, right click, connect vertex path and then dissolve these unnecessary edges. And then here, just select this edge loop and double tap G for the edge slide and give the right position to it. After that, you need to use the knife tool and create a cut like this. We need to create a right core based topology on the model. So that's why we need to use the knife tool. And we need to try to create a decent topology on the model. So we will get decent smooth shading on the model. Use the knife tool and create a cut like this. And try to maintain the good topology on the model. Then create cuts at here. And then try to create a loop structure at there. So that's why you can create a cut like this. After that, just select these words and press M and merge at last. Now we can select these words and then right click connect vertex path. And just give the right position to the words and try to keep a decent edge flow on the model. After that, just use the knife tool one more time and create a loop structure at there. And now we will create a little bit of design at here. So that's why before that, we need to create a right topology at here. So just select the words, right click connect vertex path and create a right topology at here. Then you can add sub D modifier. So add that sub D modifier and increase it level up to two. And now it's look good. We need to create a decent topology on the model. We need to work on it a little bit more. So that's why I just take the symmetry along the z-axis. So we will get the smoother results. Then you can add few loop cuts on the model. So just add the loop cuts like this. To get smooth results on your model, we need a more geo on the model. Just add one loop cut here and scale it along the y-axis and give the value 0 to make it flat along the y-axis. And then add few more loop cuts like this. Then select this face, press I for the insert operation. Then select these faces with the shortest path selection and then press I for the insert operation. Then add one loop cut like this and then select this loop cut and then press S, X and give the value 0 to scale it along the X axis and to make it straight. 
You can repeat this process with other loop cuts also. After that just select this edge loop and control X to dissolve it. Then select these face loops and press I for the insert operation. Then you need to add one loop cut like this. Select this face loop and then E to extrude it and then scale it along the normal. So press Alt S to scale it along its normal and then use the insert operation one more time. And add one loop cut like this and add one loop cut like this. Try to maintain its form so that's why you need to add few loop cuts like this. Just stay smooth it and it's look pretty well. So select this face and press I for the insert operation and then E to extrude it and then scale it down like this and then adjust the scale little bit and one more time extrude it. Then press I for the insert operation. One more time insert operation, select these words, right click connect vertex path and create a chord based topology at there. Then select these face loops and use the insert operation at there to add few loop cuts. Otherwise you can add loop cuts with Ctrl R. And you can see here we have created little bit of design. Just select this edge and move it along the Y axis and make it straight along the Y axis and give the right position to this. Then select this face loop and then press I for the insert operation and one more time use the insert operation add there and then adjust the scale along the Y axis and use the insert operation one more time. After that just select these face loops and then press I for the insert operation and use the insert operation one more time and then scale them along its normal and then use the insert operation one more time and you will get this kind of design at there which looks pretty well. Just add few loop cuts like this to maintain the form. Now just select these words and move them along the Y axis and then add few loop cuts like this. And now you can see it's look good. Just we will create a little bit of design at here. So select these faces with the shortest path selection and then press I for the insert operation and then extrude inside like this and then scale them along the X and Y axis. Adjust their scale like this and then you can use the insert operation one more time to maintain the form and to add more loop cuts right there. Just add the necessary loop cuts right here. Then select this face loop and press I for the insert operation. And now you can see the model looks pretty well. You can see its wireframe, you can see its topology and you can see it from the matte view also. It's look decent. We have tried to create this industrial design which looks pretty well. You will get its UV unwrapping process on our Instagram page so don't forget to follow us on Instagram. And thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye so next video. Take care.